In this video, I will show you, or I will start with the recognition application. I'm so excited to show you this. And uh, yeah, let's try to, to do it. So let me close this one and let's start with a new file. COVID recognition. Yes, so I forgot to tell you at the beginning that if we want to use machine learning uh, algorithm, like a real library that we can use is scientific learn. Yeah, but let, let me import CV to a CV import numpy as numpy. I'm not sure if we will use matplot lib library so let me just leave it like that and yeah I will show you another another yeah this library we will find a lot of machine learning like library so let's leave it like that probably I will change the importation because here I import a huge or a bunch of thing here so let's do it like as simple as we can so let's take the image well as the input we see the rig we can use the image, probably this one. I don't know if you agree with me. I don't know sometimes the application take it like this and sometimes in, in other sense. I don't know. Yeah, let me leave it like that. And what we have to do now is start our our segmentation so first there's a real type of resizing the, uh, the, the, the image in order to to retaining the aspect ratio so let me do something like this image dot shape one and let me take the emission and this we resize the image but we keep the aspect radio so we take these numbers and we convert those to integer and uh, yeah we add we add the image shape zero times d yeah so let's yeah i just want yeah so let's create a new image with this size image will be cb2 that resize and put the image in here we put the dimension in interpolation we use cv2 dot inter area yeah, yes this one so let's create the output image or let's copy the first image we can use it like that as you remember and we use image that copy yeah so we create a copy of the image so we will use it then so let's convert the image to grayscale remember I'm not going to to tell you whatever or for what we convert it because you know so we use the gray image will be cv.cvt color 
and we grab the image and we add the flag color BGR to gray. Okay, I'm sure that I'm sure that I will have to curb the video more time because it will be a very very long video. So I'm sorry if I have to do that, but I will try to restart where I end up. So yeah, we can use another function to improve the the contrast for differences in lighting condition, as I show you in my data set. I have my image with different lighting conditions, so I have to to improve the contrast to to give a maximum or a minimum that the image could take because. If you will create your dataset yourself, you may have different lighting condition for so many pictures or something like that. So we will use this function to 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 improve this. We'll cv2 that create yeah this function. Yeah, it's saying it stands for for contrast limiting adapting histogram equalization. So we we use this and we give a limit to this. So we can use clip limit will be 2.0 and this one will be eight times eight image. Yeah, so I put it inside of this. Yes. Yeah, so for here we will have we create the object but we didn't apply it yet. So let's apply it to the image that we we have. To the gray image uh, of course gray will be apply or apply. And put this again. Simple, very simple. So, what we have to do now, we have to create the histogram, or we have to calculate the histogram of the image. From here, we can now calculate the histogram of the input image. So, let's calculate the histogram. The histogram. Calculate the histogram. Yeah, remember that I told you why we calculate the histogram. So we can use M will be non P zeros and we take the shape of the image image dot shape. Yeah we can we will not use image because let's let's do it like like a as a function because we will calculate the histogram of the input image and we will also calculate the histogram of the of all images and our data set so it's better to create it as a function so so we can we can use the same function to calculate the histogram of this and the histogram of those um, those images and that data set. So let's create a function like calculate histogram histogram and we'll pass img like images. Yeah and here we will create the m from on PCOS and we take the shape of the image shape and we know that shape one zero one two and we take it from the last one yeah two instead and type will be u i n t eight yeah and we'll take this y with 
or we can do something like here and that would be integer or we can do something like that integer and take the image shape like the, the first one or the second one and yeah divided by two can use integer we convert the the shape to or numbers to integer because we don't have to have we don't want to have problem with them we take the image again and the shape and like the first index and times two here we get the width in here we get the height so i think that i have to show this one again yeah okay so by this we can create a shape we we can put a circle a circle and we give the m and the width and height and then we put the yeah we do it like that and with this I could I could just in instead of M I could write like mask but I don't want to have problem with keywords or something like that so I, I use M for mask here we create a mask and here we can put the mask of the image to the image so let's see so let's just use the function that we have created to calculate the histogram so what we have to do now we can create histogram and CV and we will use the function calculate histogram calc histogram yes and here we will put the image and remember that we we may have a bunch of images so i put it instead of this and i take the parameter that i create and yeah we can continue with that and uh, yeah i can have zero one two and the mask that i have created here you can see the parameter we have mask but i already created the, my function or my object so i just use this instead so i can add eight 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 we don't need to convert it again to this side and yeah we can add zero to this number zero again to this number and at last zero to this number again so with this i can just return the cv2 that normalize we will normalize the histogram that we have created and we parse here h and h and flatten we have to flatten so in this we have a function that will calculate for us for us the histogram but yeah we have to get the images from the file so what we are going to do right now is create another function like this we calculate the histogram for from the files so we use calc hist from file for you to know which function that we are going to use in here i pass file and i can use the image and cv dot i am read i am read and i 
pass the file here and we can return this to calculate histogram yeah, we will use the histogram the same histogram that we have created and parse in img so by this we prepare the function that we will be using to calculate the histogram from the input file and also we use the mask to calculate histogram for from the histogram of every single from every single image from the data set and with this we take, take the file from this file and we send it to the histogram function so let's continue in the next video